A Syrian refugee was trapped in a Malaysian airport for seven months. Now, after writing a book about his experience, Hassan Alcantar has officially become a Canadian citizen. He joins me now from Princeton, B.C. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. All right. So first, I want to say congratulations on becoming a Canadian citizen. That's fantastic news. Thank you. Canada, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect response. All right. So now, okay. Tell us about your time in a Malaysian airport. You spent seven months there. Talk to us about that experience. Uh, well, at the airport, there are no good days. Uh, there are bad days and legendary bad days. Mm. Uh, but at the beginning, I was confused, desperate, hopeless, and powerless. I did not know what to do and how to do it. Uh, then with time, when I found my purpose and the people who helped me mm -hmm. uh, to come to Canada, it did not matter anymore whether I was sleeping uh, in, a, in a nice comfy bed or having a good shower or a good meal. Mm -hmm. I had a purpose and I was working towards it. So. Uh, uh, it, it is when I found myself again. It's, it's like a rebirth or rediscover yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that came with a price, but with the help of a uh, Canadian individual and Canadian uh, association like the B BCMA. Um, and it worked well. It's so powerful to say that you found your purpose. What was the dream that got you through those really dark, hard times? Uh, life for me now, after four, four years in Canada, now uh, life is about priorities. Mm -hmm. And uh, all what I was asking for is my minimum human right as a human being. Uh, and I was um, disappointed how the international world and uh, the international uh, law uh, de dealt with us as Syrian refugees. And uh, um, all what I was asking for is a place where I can call home, mm -hmm. to be permanently safe and legal, to find jobs. Uh, to pay back to the community. And uh, uh, Canada gave me all of that in one package. So uh, it was not on, Canada was not on my, my radar, my dream, even in my wildest dream, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it happened. And uh, I think, and I still think, I'm not only grateful and thankful, I think I'm one of the luckiest. Talk to us also, because I know you went through a lot during this time, not only losing your homeland, I understand that you also lost one of your parents during this time. You were incarcerated. Talk to us about some of the, the really hard things that you've gone through in the past couple of years and how you've managed to come through on the other side. That's how I looked into the uh, oath ceremony two days ago. It was a, a bit of a bittersweet because uh, I eventually now I can easily claim that I am stateless no more after 15 years. But uh, it came with the ultimate price. Uh, it costed me that moment the, the, uh, when I raised my hand, I swear the oath. Uh, it costed me 15 years of separation away from my family. I have a sister-in-law, a niece that I never met, a nephew who was uh, three months old when I saw him for the uh, first and last time. Now he's 15. Um, it costed me a destroyed country, uh, millions of refugees and disabled, uh, prison detention, hundreds of interrogations, uh, being subject to racism, discrimination. And it costed me most my father. I was not there when he passed away just to say goodbye or be next to him when he did me, needed me the most. And that's what the passport, that's what the Canadian citizenship means to me now, that uh, uh, I'm, I'm protected and I belong to, uh, uh, to two different cultures now, but I love them both equally and I'm proud to be uh, uh, a part of both cultures. I know that your, your journey has been long and arduous and very challenging, but we are so happy that you're here in Canada. Congratulations once again on becoming a Canadian citizen. Once again, everybody, that is Hassan Alcantar. Thank you so much for your time, Hassan. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.